Hello and welcome to this presentation on how to embed a 3D microstation model into a PDF and then create links to saved views from that 3D model. So this file is an example of what we want to achieve. We can spin around in the 3D image to show what we want to see but there are some links embedded within the text as well and I want to show you how to create these so that you could jump to the southwest corner to the east side of the building to the west view or to the south facade therefore being able to show off certain features of our design so these are the overall process steps to achieve what we just saw in the demonstration in MicroStation we need to create the saved views and export the 3D model to a U3D file. Then in Word for Windows we create the words to, for the hyperlinks and we print that Word document to a PDF. We then open the PDF with Adobe Acrobat Professional and insert the U3D file and also with Adobe Professional we link the words to the saved views that we created in MicroStation. Finally, to check that everything's okay, we open it with the PDF viewer, the free Adobe viewer. So let's take those steps one at a time. So in MicroStation, I'm going to spin to some standard view locations and save them as a view. So I might spin to the isometric view and I'll save that as viewing from the southeast. And then I might spin to the front view and save that as a view. East elevation and finally I'll spin to the left side view and I'm going to save that as the south elevation so now that I have the saved views I'm going to export this as a U3D file. So I go File, Export, U3D, give it a name, building.u3d, save it. So in Word for Windows, I'm just typing the, the words that will become hyperlinks later and they obviously match the save views that I created in Word. So to make them look a bit more like hyperlinks I'm just going to copy the color of that and change it and then I save it ready for creating a PDF. So now we simply print this to a PDF. Maybe PDF, all, OK, and I'm going to call it building. So now I'm just going to open the PDF we created earlier with Adobe Acrobat Professional. To insert the Universal 3D file, we go to Tools, Advanced Editing and 3D Tool. We specify where we want the 3D image to go. I'm going to browse for the U3D file that we created from MicroStation. We include the JavaScript. I'm just going to change the background color because I didn't have any background and I'm going to make it bright lights as well if you had lighting in the file you could grab that and I've got to tell it to grab the default views from the file so the save views come through 
and we're good to go. So finally then the process to add the links to this document we go tools advanced editing link tool and I just select a little area across the text that I want to link I want a visible rectangle I only want it to be underlined I want to set the color for the hyperlink line S go to a page view and go next set the link and then I just go to the properties of that link and under the actions I want to jump to a 3D view and I add that and then I can select from the name view so this is from the view from the southeast I go OK pick that 3D view from the list go OK and that text is now linked once all of the links have been created we then save the file and we can then open it as a check with the free Adobe Reader. So now we just open the file with the free Adobe Reader and you should find that you can spin around the model at your leisure but also the link should be working so we go to the southeast corner we go to the south elevation we go to the east elevation job done so what have we achieved we've been able to create some save views in microstation and export that to a u3d file in word we created the words we needed for the hyperlinks which eventually would be linked we printed the Word document to a PDF and then opened that PDF with Adobe Acrobat Professional. Using Professional we were able to insert the U3D file and link the words to the saved views. And finally to check it all we opened the PDF with the free Adobe Reader to check that everything was working. Thank you. I hope that demonstration has been useful to you. Bye for now.